In this video, we're going to, again, look at the Place Note tool. This time, we're going to use it to place a note with a circle around the text, similar to what we have here over on the right side. So I'm going to return back to my Place Note tool, which is located, again, on the Text Toolbox in the main tool frame. And it's number two. On the Tool Settings window, I'm going to leave it set to Place Note up here. And I'm going to make some changes. I'm going to go to the text frame, and I'm going to change that from none to circle. Height is already set for us. Location, I'm going to leave this set to automatic. And the leader type, I want to change from line to curve. So I'm going to change that. And I'm going to be starting at terminator. So I'm going to place this to terminator. And I want to check inline leader. And I want to check association. I want to make it associative. Next, I'm going to be placing in is the character, which is going to be the four. And then I'm going to locate where the arrowhead or terminator is going to be. I'm going to pick a point on my alignment, and I can pick a, a point where AccuSnap finds, or I can use the nearest snap and um, place it any place I want to. So I'm going to go ahead and place it right here. And I'm going to do a data. And now I'm placing my note. And I can place it just in like that. And there you go. Makes it simple. No copying, no editing, no worrying about the arrowhead rotating or anything like that. Now, the next thing I want to look at is on the tool settings window, there's an option for place callout. So if I wanted to place this callout in my notes in another section of my page, I can go to the place callout tool. And again, the settings remain the same here, and my value stays in the text editor field. Now, I'm just going to demonstrate right here. I'm going to place in the four. I'm going to place it by doing a left click, a data. And now, let's say I wanted to continue to place in bubbles directly below. And if I wanted those bubbles or circles touching each other, then what I need to do is make sure that the distance I'm going down is going to be uh, half the radius or half the diameter. So I'm going to be putting in the next number, which is 5. So backspace, put in 5. And as I move my cursor down, now I need to use AccuDraw to make sure that my next circle or callout bubble is going to be exactly tangent with the previous. So I'll do a control tentative right here. That sets the origin and makes AccuDraw active. I'll then move my cursor down. I'll lock it on this axis by hitting Enter. I'll move my cursor to the bottom part of that circle. And then I'm going to use the multiply, which is the asterisk, which is times, and type 2. And there you go. I've placed it in. Now, AccuDraw remembers that distance, whatever it happened to be. So I can just continue to place them in. So I'm going to change the character to 6. And as I move my cursor down, you'll see the perpendicular tick mark indicating where that's at. So I can just place the next one. Again, backspace, put in 7. And again, AccuDraw remembers the distance. So I can just continue to repeat that by placing these in. And that's a quick way to place in call-out bubbles using the Place Note tool.